My name is Denise Evans with Butler Evans Real Estate, Inc. We are commercial and investment brokers in Tuscaloosa and Birmingham, Alabama. Plus, we provide nationwide consulting. This video is about option contracts. A little bit about me. I'm an active commercial real estate broker and consultant. If you need buyer or seller representation or co-brokerage to help you with a project that's maybe a little bit larger than your comfort zone, please contact me. I'm a retired litigation attorney who specialized in real estate and banking defensive litigation. A former clinical professor of real estate at the University of Alabama Culverhouse College of Business and a nationally published author for McGraw-Hill, Sphinx Legal, and Kaplan-Dearborn. Well, what is an option contract? An option contract is a contract where the seller promises to sell for a pre-agreed price if the buyer decides it wants to buy at a later date. The buyer does not have to buy. The buyer has all the, the power in this relationship. But if the buyer decides it wants to buy at a later date during the option contract time period, then the seller must sell to the buyer. All contracts required consideration in order to support them, in order to be enforceable. In the typical purchase contract, the seller promises to sell and the buyer promises to buy. Two promises are consideration. The seller's consideration is the promise to sell. The buyer's consideration is the buyer's promise to buy. That's consideration. No money has to change hands. An option contract has only one promise. The seller gives consideration when it promises to sell. What does the buyer give? In an option contract, since the buyer is not giving a promise, the buyer must give money. The buyer will pay the seller some non-refundable amount of money as the consideration for the option contract. The buyer will pay for, will purchase an option on the property. If that contract says that the money paid by the buyer will be credited against the purchase price at closing, it is not consideration. It is basically just earnest money. If there is no consideration, the option contract is not enforceable. This came up many years ago with an option contract for a buyer to buy some very desirable beachfront property in Gulf Shores, Alabama. And the, the consideration for the option contract, as it was stated, was many tens of thousands of dollars, perhaps more. But the contract said that if the buyer exercised the option, that money that it paid at the beginning of the option contract would be credited against the purchase price. Many months went by, word got out in the community that somebody was looking at this property, and wouldn't you know it, somebody came along and offered the seller twice as much money for the same property, and the seller sold to the second person. Well, of course, the first person sued and said, you can't do that. I have an option contract. You're not allowed to sell to anybody except me. And the Alabama Supreme Court said, you buyer do not have an option contract. You paid down some earnest money. There was no consideration for the option. And so that contract was null and void. You have nothing. And somebody else snatched his deal away from him. That's what can happen to you if you do not understand about option contracts. Well, I hope you found this information useful and it will help you be successful if you are putting options on contracts and then deciding to buy them later, maybe after you're able to flip your option contract to somebody else and will help you avoid trouble. If you have any questions or if you have suggestions for other videos, you can contact me, email me at denise at butlerevansrealestate.com or call me at 205-310-3799. I am in the central time zone.